Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our Thought for the Week. It doesn't seem all that long ago that in June, I was fortunate enough to be on the Thought for the Week, the week of the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. And I enjoyed sharing with you that week as we celebrated the Queen's 70 years. And again, I'm on the road for this week and I again turn to think about the Queen, but obviously there's a much more sombre mood at the moment as we mourn the loss of Her Majesty the Queen. And as the moderator has outlined in his prayer points, we grieve the loss of one who was admired, respected and loved as a monarch. As the moderator tells us, we can bring this to the one who cares for us. So I just ask this morning that you bring before God in prayer your concerns, your sorrows, your grief about this time. But as the moderator also outlines in his prayer points, we also have a lot to be thankful for for our Queen. And this should also be a time of thanksgiving for her wonderful life and her great service that she gave. And as part of that, the Queen was always very clear that she had a profession of her own faith. And that is where I want to take us this morning, to look at her faith and to see how we can draw comfort from that and also how we can use her as an example to follow. The Queen, on many occasions, many in her Christmas speeches, was able to outline her own personal faith. It was personal to her and she, met, she gave many quotes that told us about just how she felt about Jesus Christ, her saviour. She described him as the bedrock of her faith, her inspiration and anchor. She said the teachings of Christ provided her with an inner light. It was wonderful to hear the Queen talking about this personal relationship that she had with God the Father and Jesus the Son. Not only was this personal to the Queen though, she publicly declared it. And at times perhaps it was not seen as the best thing to do to publicly declare her faith, but she was always very clear that it was her personal view and that she wanted to let everyone know. She attended church weekly and even her attendance at worship would have been assigned to the people who saw her there about her relationship with God. And as I mentioned, her Christmas speeches were often a time when she took the opportunity to share this faith. And in one such speech, this is what she said. I know that the only way to live my life is to try to do what is right, to take the long view, to give up my best in all that the day brings and to put my trust in God. She publicly declared that that was how she got through each day. She put her trust in God. What a wonderful thing that was for her to do. It also provided the Queen with a practical road to follow. She used Jesus' teachings as a guideline for her service. At 21, that most famous speech that has been shared very widely over the last number of days, she dedicated her whole life, whether it be long or short, to the service of her people. And in 1956, again, she said that she gave her heart and her devotion to her people. And again, she in her, Chris, in her Christmas speeches was able to outline how she did that. In the year 2000, she said, for me, the teachings of Christ and my own personal accountability before God provide a framework in which I try to lead my life. And again, in 2002, she said, I rely on my faith to guide me. This was the queen who was in service to a whole nation and to a commonwealth of nations. And she was making it clear where she got her map from. How she found her way through this time of service was through God. Isn't that wonderful that she shared that with her people? So it was a personal faith. It was publicly declared. It provided her with a practical structure for her service to her people. And it was a powerful faith. She many times talked about the Good Samaritan. She talked about how that provided her with a way to teach people about how we should love our neighbour. She wanted people to know the power of God 
through that story. How God's love is shared through that story and how we can share our love with others. And indeed, just at the back to school with God's service, we were focusing on that wonderful story as well that the Queen took so much to heart. But I love this quote that she shared in 1990. She said, our Christian faith helps to sustain those convictions. Christ not only revealed to us the truth in his teachings, he lived by what he believed and gave us the strength to do the same. And finally, on the cross, he showed the supreme example of physical and moral courage. How wonderful that we can know that the Queen believed in the, in the resurrection of Jesus Christ. How on the cross he showed that he was paying the price for us all. For her as the Queen, as that most important role that she played, and for us, for every person, Jesus paid that price. And we can take great comfort in knowing that the Queen had this wonderful faith that she shared through her messages and know that we can pray to God the Father for her. And at this time, of course, we do pray for the Queen's family because her children and her grandchildren and her great grandchildren will be those who were the closest to her and had the most personal relationship with her and they will be mourning her loss. But in that time, they're also having to take on other duties and having to be in the public eye and that is very difficult for them. But we pray like the Queen that they will draw comfort from our King, from God the Father, God the Son. And we pray for our new King and we pray that God will draw close to him and guide him. And we pray for our nation in this time of grief and for our church and we pray that God will help us to see a way through. But I just want to leave you with those wonderful things that the Queen told us about her faith. It was a personal faith. It was publicly declared. It was practical. It gave her away through her service and it was powerful. And how much for us this morning could we take those wonderful examples from the Queen as we move forward in our lives and as we take on today, can we make sure that we are doing that with our faith, that we are holding it close to us in that personal relationship with God, that we are sharing it with others, that we are using it as a practical structure for our life each day and that we are understanding and in awe of the power of this wonderful message. The Queen in all her grandeur and in the most important role that she played still saw the awe in the power of her King, of God and of his son Jesus. And I pray that for us today as well. And as we mourn and grieve for the loss of our Queen, that we will feel the comfort of God and Jesus with us throughout this time. Let's just pray together before we finish. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the wonderful example of Her Majesty the Queen. We thank you for her relationship with you and we thank you for all that can teach us and be an example to us as we move through our day. Lord, we understand at this time it's very difficult that people are grieving and mourning. It's a time of change, which is always difficult. And we just ask, Lord, that you would step into the centre of that, that we will feel your comfort, that we will feel your power, and that you will help us to move forward today. Amen. Thank you for joining with me this morning, and I look forward to sharing with you again soon.